What if the most powerful telescope ever built has just revealed something beyond the bright curtain of our known reality? What if the glowing edges of space have cracked open to show us what we were never meant to see? The James Webb Space Telescope, designed to capture the first light of the cosmos, has now delivered fractured signals that don't align with anything we expected. One Nobel Prize-winning physicist has stepped forward with a chilling declaration, this is not our universe. At the distant border of the visible void, hidden in the pale light of deep space, Webb spotted what seemed to be a simple yellow glow. But under closer inspection, this shimmering dot wasn't just any ancient galaxy. It was the most distant galaxy ever seen, formed just 290 million years after the first cosmic flash. It shouldn't even exist. It is too massive, too bright, and too mature to have formed so soon after the supposed Big Bang. And it's not alone in the velvet darkness. Webb has uncovered dozens more galaxies like this, each one emitting a shimmering contradiction. According to current physics, these galaxies shouldn't exist. But here they are, breaking every known law of light, time, and space. They're not just discoveries, they're cosmic paradoxes floating in the deep nebular shadows of our universe. Scientists looked deeper into these mysterious burning masses, and what they found twisted their understanding even further. Some of these early structures aren't just large, they're entirely unfamiliar. In normal galaxies, only a small part of cosmic gas turns into stars. But Webb discovered stellar monsters, galaxies made of 100% pure starlight, with no gas or dust left behind. That's not just odd, it's impossible by every known model of galaxy formation. Which leaves experts asking darker questions. What if these aren't galaxies at all? What if we're not seeing the infant universe, but witnessing something else? Perhaps we're staring into the structure of another dimension, or the remnant of a prior cosmos, shining through the cracks of our reality. To understand why this shakes the very fabric of space, we must turn to the Hubble sphere, a glowing boundary of perception. The farther an object is, the faster it recedes due to the expanding canvas of space. Beyond a certain point, galaxies slip beyond light speed, vanishing from view, but the Webb telescope is detecting flashes of light from beyond that very border. This light shouldn't be reaching us. These luminous signals suggest something impossible that we are seeing beyond our own cosmic wall. Something is shining from the other side of the visible expansion, from a region where no light should return. Which means, maybe, this isn't the edge, maybe there is no edge at all. The data is becoming harder to ignore. What if the universe never had a beginning? Some Nobel laureates are now casting doubt on the Big Bang Theory because the evidence doesn't fit. These massive galaxies, this forbidden light, this wrinkled structure we call space, none of it aligns with our ordered models. Maybe time itself is a fractured illusion, and what we are seeing isn't an origin but a cosmic tear. A place where two universes overlap in the fog, or perhaps, a shadow realm older than anything we can imagine is bleeding into ours. One of Webb's strangest findings isn't visual at all, but auditory, in a sense. Amid the silent whispers of deep space, it detected a steady pulse, a rhythmic oscillating frequency buried beneath the static of creation. It isn't a pulsar. It isn't gravitational waves. It isn't background noise. This strange signal repeats at precise intervals. Some scientists have dubbed it the heartbeat beyond time, while others warn it may be the signature of exotic matter, something that exists outside our boundaries. This rhythm follows a mathematical code, as if someone OR something encoded it, expecting it would eventually be found. Webb has also shown us that the gravity fields around distant dark galaxies are disturbingly mismatched. These regions bend light and warp space, yet there's no visible mass, not even dark matter accounts for it. What we may be detecting are phantom pressures, cosmic fingerprints pushing on our reality from a direction we can't define. Are these gravity wells bleeding in from another dimension? Could we be witnessing the shadows of another universe, pressing against ours like a hand on frosted glass? Some theorists now believe so. Webb might be capturing the first visible traces of a cosmic collision. And then there's the mirror. A previously fringe theory is gaining new ground. 
It proposes that every particle, every ray of light, has a mirrored counterpart in a reversed universe where time runs backward and physics bends differently. Until recently, this idea was purely speculative. But Webb is detecting particle behaviors, strange spin patterns, and light polarizations that hinted cosmic asymmetry. It's as if two systems are moving at once, ours, moving forward in time, and another, just beyond the veil, moving in reverse. Could the mirrored universe be real? If so, then everything, our galaxies, our stars, our memories, may be mirrored in a silent reflection, one step out of reach. And then came the echo. One of Webb's long-range instruments followed a dull glimmer from the edge of the visible cosmos. This light was expected to fade. Most cosmic light eventually dies in the dark expanse. But instead, it came back. Not from the same direction. Not from the same time. But the exact same spectral fingerprint, the same light signature. As if it had struck something and bounced back. Webb may have recorded the first cosmic echo. The light either circled a curved universe, meaning space is closed and finite, or it hit an object or structure at the edge, something solid enough to reflect light, something that should not exist. The terrifying truth is that Webb has revealed more than just images. It has cracked the dome of certainty. The galaxies it sees don't fit into our cosmic blueprints. The phantom gravity, the mirrored particles, the deep pulse, the mysterious light echo, all of it points to a reality far beyond what we can explain. Maybe the universe is not what we think. Maybe our stars, our constellations, our sense of T-I-M-E-F-L-O-W, are shadows on a deeper wall. A physicist said it best, this is not our universe. Maybe we're floating on the surface of something older, something more massive, something indifferent to us. Maybe this is just a fragment of a multiverse, and we've just seen the first glimpse of a higher structure, the universe behind the universe. So now the question isn't whether we're alone in the cosmos. The question is, are we even in the right cosmos? Let us know in the comments. Do you believe the James Webb Telescope has already pierced into another universe?